Welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lalas, Editor-in-Chief of MLSsoccer.com. Pass and move. Pass and move. It's a mantra of coaches around the world. And it was how Darlington Nagby found the space to release Ryan Johnson in on goal in the Portland Timbers 2-0 win over the Houston Dynamo on Saturday, April 6, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. More often than not, taking advantage of the transition from defense to offense is not only about gaining possession, but also about being proactive in the immediate aftermath of an interception or a steal. Here we see Darlington Nagby strip the ball from Houston's Ricardo Clark. However, Nagby doesn't just take possession of the ball, he actually steals it, makes a pass, and heads up field all in the same motion. Pass and move. Nagby's simple movement, it's only about five or six yards, opens up an angle for a return pass and shifts the balance of the field so that the Dynamo are suddenly on the back foot. But things aren't all that bad for Houston at this point. Four defenders behind the ball in a decent position. Plus, Nagby doesn't pick up the momentum he wanted to after the pass, and he has to stop under pressure from Clark. So what does he do? He passes and moves. Khalif al Hassan only has to make a simple jig around Clark before he can play the ball back to a wide open Nagby. Wait, wide open? In the middle of the field? How'd that happen? Why didn't Houston center back Jermaine Taylor recognize the situation before the ball ever got to Nagby and step up to apply early pressure? After all, there was plenty of defensive support to justify it. But he didn't, so Nagby has time to turn, at which point we need to look at Houston's Bobby Boswell. He's in a tough spot here, because right back Kofi Sarkodie is up high, Boswell needs to keep tabs on Johnson out wide. But because Taylor doesn't go pressure Nagby, Boswell has to worry about the potential of Nagby coming with the ball. In short, Boswell is in trouble, and in a desperate attempt to save the situation, he pulls an offside trap. Bad decision. Reading body language is an underrated aspect of playing defense. Unfortunately for Boswell, he misreads Nagby's body language. Can't blame him too much. After all, Nagby's pass is one of those things people like to say you can't teach. Here's why. Most players need to set up their body to make a pass. But Nagby releases his pass right in stride. That's why Boswell's step is late. Odds are, if it were another, less skillful player on the ball than Nagby, Boswell's offside trap would have worked. From there, Johnson does the rest. And the Timbers Army shed tears of joy. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless. Join me again next time. We'll wind it back and break it down.